manifestation tonight. Liberation tonight. And as our pastor said, jubilation tonight. And the Lord confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. First day, second day, third day, and this is day number four. Something. North, south, east, west, everyone, something will happen to you. And the power of God will descend upon you. That be the manifestation of the glory of God in your life in Jesus' name. Whatever you have had before, salvation, miracle, power, glory, honor, and something, somebody took that away from you. Everything stolen from you, you recover tonight. Strength, you recover tonight. And everything promised by the Lord concerning you tonight is the night of recovery in your life in Jesus' name. Let's pray together, Father. We well, thank you. We well, bless your name today. And we're asking, Lord, you send forth your power. And you send forth the manifestation of your promises on every life tonight. In Jesus' name. Recovery for everyone. Restoration for everyone. The fulfillment of your promise for everyone. A divine touch in every life tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm not going to release you to sin until you give me a supernatural liberation. Amen. You've got it and you will give testimony in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as we come, we're talking about miracles. Mighty miracles through Christ, our liberator, is the one that has come to set us free, to set you free. Any yoke broken tonight, every chain broken tonight, every cause taken out of your life tonight, in Jesus' name, mighty miracles through Christ our liberator. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, reading from verse 22. Acts, chapter 2, verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Those three words there, miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did through him or by him, as ye yourselves also know. You will know it experientially tonight. It will be your experience. You'll be a possessor. You'll be a partaker in Jesus' name. Verse 39 says, The promise is unto you. The promise is unto me. The promise is unto me. Every promise the Lord has given for you to have the miracle working power operating in your life. That promise is yours for fulfillment tonight. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Look at that verse. It says you. You'll be a partaker of the miracle power tonight. Your children, our children, the young ones, they'll be partakers of the miracle power tonight and all that are far off 
afar off from the alpha location of this crusade in every part of our country here and in every part of the continent of Africa and beyond Africa all that are far off even as many as many as many anywhere everywhere the Lord our God shall call now the message tonight is straightforward and very simple and I'm going to look at the word miracles so that you can tell the mighty miracles that will come upon your life. M, merciful manifestations multiplied. Multiplied everywhere, here and every place. I, incredible impartation immediate. Christ comes. Like he always did the same yesterday, today, and forever. And then incredible impartation immediate in your life. Our repentant returnee received. It was returning from the far country. It was returning from where he had gone. And immediately he came back. The father received him. The father will receive you tonight. Wherever you have gone. Whatever you have done, whatever atrocities and evil you have committed as you return tonight, the repentant returnee is received. A alien afflictions alleviated. All the foreign afflictions. Where is this coming from? We never saw anything like this before. A family never saw anything like this before. Tonight, all those alien afflictions alleviated, taken away from your life in Jesus' name. See, confirmed cures countless. Confirmed, the person there, your cure is confirmed. The person over there, your cure is confirmed. And then you let somebody at home and you remember, is that your mother? Is that your wife? Is that your husband? Is that that child that is bedridden tonight? Confirmed, cures, countless. And then L, lonesome lepers liberated. The lepers that are lonely and lonesome, nobody will allow them to come near tonight. The Lord will liberate everyone. He endangered epileptics emancipated. Somebody has epileptics, his life is endangered, and the epileptic spirit will throw him into the fire and into the water. Tonight, and you are emancipated, completely delivered in Jesus' name. Yes, sorry, sinners saved. Sorry, not only that they are sorrowful, but they are sorry for what they have done. And they come before the Lord and will say, Lord, we've gone astray. We've done what we shouldn't have done. And we know the consequence upon our lives. Sorry, sinners, saved. That's what you are looking at today. And in those uh, lines that I read to you now, you are somewhere there and you are going to get your miracle. Let's look at them one by one. M, merciful manifestations multiplied. Here is a man that came. He was asking for mercy. It's in Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10 verse 46. And he came to Jericho. And as they went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind but Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, such by the wayside highway begging and then he tells us in verse 47 it says and when he heard that it was jesus of nazareth he began to cry out and say jesus thou son of david have mercy on me and he had mercy on him and you tonight he will have mercy upon you he loves you and he does not want you to remain in that blindness. And because of that, you will see tonight by mercy, not by marriage, by mercy, he will open your blind eyes. 
have mercy on me. In verse 48, it says, And many charged him that they should hold his peace. But he cried the more, a great deal. He said, I am getting it tonight. Are you there? I am getting it tonight. I said, are you there? You are getting it tonight in Jesus' name. And they wanted to silence him, shut his mouth, and beat him down. He cried the more a great deal. And he's repeating the same thing. He said, what I'm looking for is mercy, thou son of David. Have mercy on me. Have mercy mercy on me there is mercy for the blind today Amen. manifestation for the blind today and it is going to be multiplied in many many places over here at the alpha location you'll have mercy on you your blind eyes will open Amen. over there in all the various locations there is a multiplication of days manifestation of mercy that opens the eyes of the blind it will happen tonight and then we're told in verse 49 verse 49 and jesus stood still and commanded him to be called he said come you are the called of the lord your eyesight is failing and the lord is calling you tonight he said come your eyesight will brighten up. You are totally dim and dark. And it's like you cannot see near. You cannot see far. It's calling you tonight. Manifestation of mercy will give you your eyesight back in Jesus' name. Cataract has stolen your sight. Glaucoma has stolen your sight. Or maybe an accident, somebody, something that pinched you has uh, stolen your sight. That sight yeah, that has been stolen from you today, you will recover in Jesus' name. And then they call the blind man, saying, Be of good comfort. He rise, he calleth thee. Verse 50, it says, And he casting away his garment. The batch of blindness. He rose and he came to Jesus. In verse 51. And Jesus answered and said unto him. What wilt thou? That I should do unto thee. That's the question coming to you today. What do you want? Why are you here tonight? What manifestation of mercy are you asking for tonight? As to tell him tonight. He will do it. Amen. He will do it. Amen. Then he said that I should receive my sight. When he said that in verse 52, the Lord Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. He received his sight. You are receiving your sight. Amen. Blindness is going tonight. Amen. Glaucoma is going tonight. Amen. And all those things that blocked your sight, they'll be removed tonight. You will be whole in Jesus' name. Amen. And then he followed Jesus in the way. I come to the next one now. That is I. Incredible impartation immediate. Incredible. What's going to happen to you tonight? Incredible. He'll make the impossible possible in your life. It will turn everything around. You will never be the same again. Look at Mark chapter 2. In Mark chapter 2, we're looking at verse 3. And they come unto him, bringing one seek of the palsy which was born of four. The man was so sick, he couldn't even use crutches, and they stretched him on a stretcher. And then at each corner of the stretcher, a man stood there, and they had to carry him. Even if they carried you there tonight, you are rising up in Jesus' name. 
the power from on high will come upon you there you will rise up in jesus name look at verse uh, look at verse 4 there in verse 4 and when they could not come nigh unto him for the praise because of the crowd even if you are the far back and then you are not able to come near now at the end of this message when the mercy of god will be manifested to you you will rise up Amen. by yourself you will walk from that back place you'll walk to the front in jesus name i see you with my spiritual eyes i see you coming I see you receiving the miracle. And then it says, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let him down. They let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. And then in verse 5, it says, when Jesus saw their faith. When Jesus saw their faith. How do you see the faith of somebody? Well, you can tell if somebody is sad and gloomy and sorrowful, you can see the doubt on his face. You can see the sorrow on his face when he hears that Jesus is here and Jesus is going to work miracle. Then he smiles, then he cheers up, he lifts up his eyes and you can see the brightness that the faith we are talking about. There is expectation from the heart. There's a desire from the heart and that he knows that as we say the final amen, it's like stretching out your hand and you catch it that's the faith i see that faith on you there look at him there look at him there look at her there i see that faith and that faith will get the miracle of god tonight in jesus name when jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy thy sins be forgiven thee thy sins be forgiven thee. tonight he will forgive your sin tonight it will take all the guilt and all the condemnation it'll take everything away in jesus name. look at verse 9 in verse 9 now the lord is going to heal the man like the lord is going to heal you tonight whether it's easier which one is easier to say to the sick of the palsy thy sins be forgiven thee or to say arise and take up thy bed and walk verse 10 then jesus said but that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins he says to the sick of the palsy look at verse 11 in verse 11 i say unto thee it doesn't have to come and touch you it doesn't have to come and shake you it doesn't have to pull you up it's what alone do you understand it is the watch of god that created the whole universe he said let there be light and there was light let there be and there will be let there be healing and there will be healing everywhere and immediately the word of god is pronounced tonight healing on my right hand side that will take place healing in front of me that will take place healing at the left that will take place and you will see the joy and the jubilation of the recipients of miracles tonight in jesus name i say unto thee arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house look at verse 12 and immediately he arose and he took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed your family will be amazed when you get back home tonight and the people who knew you before seeing the mighty change and the great miracle they were amazed and they glorified God saying, we never saw age on this fashion in your life. We never saw age in this fashion on your child there. We never saw age on this fashion. That's what it will, it will happen tonight. 
I say to you, to your family, and to everyone participating with us everywhere all over the globe, that is what will happen tonight. I, incredible impartation, immediate. Now we come to the next one, which is R. And this is repentance, returnee, receive. This is the man who had left home, who had left the father. And it's the story of the one who has gone far away from God. He's gone into the far country and he's made himself useless. He spent everything that he had bought. He said, why am I here? Why am I like this? I am going back to my God. You are coming back to your God tonight. You are coming back to the Savior tonight. You are coming back to the Redeemer tonight. Miracle are repentant, returnee, receive. Look at Luke chapter 15, verse 14. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And then in verse 17, in verse 17, and when he came to himself, and when the senses came back and he said, I could have forgiveness, I could have freedom, I could have reception, I could have regeneration, I could have redemption from the Lord. Why am I here? Then he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? Then in verse 17, he said, I will arise. I will arise and go to my father and say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. Then in verse 19, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. In verse 20, it says, and he arose. He decided, I will arise. He acted it out and he arose. He had the intention, I will arise. And he followed the intention with action. When your action follows your intention, a miracle will happen in your life. When your decision follows your desire, Restoration, salvation will happen in your life. That's the time the Heavenly Father will forgive you. That's the time Christ who died for you on the cross of Calvary will save your soul. He arose and he came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. The father has seen you there. He knows your tears. He knows your sorrow. He knows your heartache. He knows your problem as you are coming and you are saying, This is my heavy load, and this is my problem, and this guilt, and this condemnation, and this suffering because of my sin. He has seen all you are thinking about, and forgiveness is waiting for you. Salvation is waiting for you. And then we're told, he had compassion and he ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. In verse 21, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Verse 22 tells us, But the father said unto his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put on him and put the ring of authority on his hand and shoes on his feet. And in verse 23, it says, And bring the either the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. Heaven is rejoicing because of you tonight. Joy in heaven for you. Because the repentant returnee is now received of the Lord. In verse 24, it says, for this my son 
was dead and is alive again. You were dead in sins and trespasses. But praise the Lord, you are alive in Christ again tonight in Jesus' name. He was lost and is found and he began to be married. That's miracle when you repent and then you return and the Lord receives you. And then we have a now and that is alien afflictions alleviated. Alien afflictions alleviated. It says in Mark chapter 7 reading from verse 25 for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet she came when she was coming she knew this coming once i get to him the one who can deliver who can set free and the one who can alleviate any affliction whether it is alien or not once i get to him i'll be delivered and my daughter will be delivered tonight you'll be delivered your daughter will be delivered and your son will be delivered look at verse 26 in verse 26 and the woman was a greek a syrophoenician by nation and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter verse 27 in verse 27 and jesus said unto her let the children first be filled. Let the children first be filled. Those who are saved, those who are children of God, the Lord said, it's your right. And it is your provision. And the Lord is looking for you that before he even touches others, you are the first recipient of the miracle power of God. Tonight, you are first. I said tonight, you are the first. And then it goes on to say, and uh, so the woman now said, For it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. Look at verse 28. Verse 28 says, And she answered, What did she say? I'm not going to hinder the children. I'm not going to hinder those who are going to be forced. And they will receive but Lord yet the dogs under the table each of the children's crumbs and I'm ready let the children and the Jews and the people of Israel let them take force but I will not go back home disappointed the crumbs I know for me and my daughter will be delivered look at verse 29 and he said unto her, For this same, go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. Where are you? A devil is gone out of your son, out of your brain, out of your body. The devil, with all his evil things, everything is gone in Jesus' name. Look at verse 30 there in verse 30. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out. She found the devil gone out. Where is he now? Is he with you there? I said, is he with you there? That devil must go out. That demon must go out. That disease must go out. And then her daughter laid upon the bed. Rest for your soul. Rest for your brain. Rest for your body. Total liberation, deliverance for everyone in Jesus' name. See, it's confirmed, chaos, countless. We can't even count anymore. The chaos confirmed blind eyes opening confirmed deaf ears opening confirmed dumb tongues 
and speaking out all confirm the lame rising up and walking cures countless confirmed it will happen in your life in matthew chapter 11 reading from verse 3 matthew chapter 11 verse 3 and said unto him i doubt he that shall come or look we for another look at verse 4 in verse 4 and jesus answered and said unto them go and show john again those things which ye do hear and see you hear you see tonight you will hear tonight you will see confirmed chaos countless look at verse 5 in verse 5 the blind receive their sight confirmed the lame walk confirmed the lepers are cleansed confirmed the deaf hear confirmed the dead are raised up confirmed and the poor have the gospel preached unto them confirmed countless miracles countless deliverances countless cures all confirmed in our lives here tonight in jesus name L is the lonesome lepers liberated. Lonesome lepers liberated. You see, the lepers those days, they were even now, they were not expected and they were not allowed to mix with the crowd because the disease was contagious. It will pass from them to other people. There you are tonight, even if you have a contagious disease that could easily spread. And they said, you must be isolated and you must stay in a place. You can't touch people and people can't touch you tonight. You are liberated in Jesus' name. Look at it in Matthew chapter 8 and reading from verse 2. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. What do you say about this man, about this leper? One thing, he owned Christ as Lord. He submitted his soul, his spirit, his life unto the Lord. He said, I'm not worth much. And whatever is left, I surrender unto the Lord. And now I declare you that you will be my Lord and my director and the controller of my life. And then he said, now as you are Lord, and I bring myself as a subject under you, you can cleanse me. It will cleanse you. You can heal me. It will heal you. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3, and Jesus put forth his hand and touched him. Miracle walking touch and touched him. A healing touch and touched him. A cleansing touch. Tonight, that supernatural touch will come upon your life. Because you own him as Lord. You accept him as Lord. You submit to him as Lord. And you say you are my Lord. And with you all things are possible. If thou wilt and he wills. You can heal me and cleanse me. And he said I will. Be thou clean. And immediately. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. The Lord is still doing that. And the Lord is still cleaning up the unclean. And he's still healing the incurable. We come to the next one now. That is E, endangered epileptics emancipated. An epileptic boy. And the spirit will take him and cast him into the, into the water. And cast him into the fire. To destroy him. The devil wanted to destroy your life. But the Lord will not allow your life to be destroyed. He will deliver you. Epilepsy will vanish away. Evil spirit will vanish away. Total emancipation tonight in Jesus' name. Look at Mark 
chapter 9 verse 20 mark chapter 9 verse 20 and they brought him the epileptic boy unto him unto christ and when he saw him straightway the spirit cheered him and he fell on the ground and wallowed for me look at verse 21 in verse 21 and he asked the father how long is it ago since this came unto him and he said of a child whatever problem whatever deformity and whatever disease you had from a child no matter how old you are now tonight the lord will take it away in verse 22 in verse 22 it says and of times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him but if thou canst do anything can christ do anything that challenge you up there can christ do anything tonight and that uh, impossible situation impossible for man can christ do anything tonight tell me with faith tell me with expectation tell me all the disciples are prayed and nothing happened can something happen tonight let your yes be known in heaven if thou canst do anything on him have compassion on us and help him look at verse 23 in verse 23 jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth if you can only and thank god you believe say i believe uh, see what the Lord has been doing on the first day. He saved many people and he gave them a new heart, a new direction in life. He healed them of ulcer. He healed them of pile. And then he healed them of that ear that, uh, you know, was bringing up pulse and pain and something swollen there. He healed them of paralysis. He healed them of blindnesses where he came. And he's done that in many places. Lord, I believe it will happen tonight. Over there on that side, it will happen tonight. Look at him, look at him there. It's coming your way. It's going to happen tonight. And over there, it will happen tonight in Jesus' name. If thou canst only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Look at verse 24. It says, straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. It said, before now, before I came to you tonight, I've already, I was already having unbelief. I was thinking, will this be possible? Will this be done? But now that I see you face to face, Lord, I believe. And erase and wipe out all my unbelief of the past. And then in verse 25, it says, When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. That the command the Lord is giving to the mountain in your life. Yeah. The problem in your life. And the Lord is saying, come out of him and come back no more. Sickness, come out and don't come back anymore. Infirmity, come out and don't come back anymore. Evil power, evil spirit, charm or curse, come out and never come back again. I see you free. I see you delivered. I see you enjoying the miracle power of God in your life in Jesus' name. In verse 26, verse 26, it says, And the Spirit cried and rent him so and came out. 
They may play any trick, but they still have to come out and came out. They may struggle, but they still have to come out. They will come out. They may make a person cry, make a person shout, but they still have to come out. That thing has to come out tonight. And came out of him, and he was as one dead, in so much that many said, He is dead. No, you are not dead. No, he was not dead. Power will come. The power will not hurt you. The power will only drive out that demon. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, and Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. Jesus takes you by the hand and he lifts you up and you will arise. How can you be lame when Christ is there by your side? How can you still be there having that ability problem when Christ is there with you? He'll take hold of you. He will lift you up and you will arise. Then you'll walk to the front and you'll come over here where we'll hear your testimony tonight. Where are you? You will give your testimony tonight in Jesus' name. Miracles. S means sorry sinners saved. Those who are sorry for their sin. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7, reading from verse 9. Now I rejoice, not that you were made sorry, but that ye sorrowed to repentance. For ye were made sorry after a godly manner, that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. When you become sorry for your sin, and you turn and you repent, all danger, all damage, all damnation, everything will vanish away. Guilt, condemnation, everything will vanish away. You have been going on the broad road that leads to eternal death, eternal separation from God. Then you see all that is happening in your life. Then you feel sorry. Why am I like this? Christ died for me. And Christ is my savior. Why am I going that direction? You are so sorry, you stop. You are so sorry, you turn around. You are so sorry, you tell the Lord, forgive me. And then all danger, all damnation, all judgment will be taken away from you. Look at verse 10. In verse 10, for godly sorrow, what is repentance to salvation? Not to be repented of, not to be regretted of, but the sorrow of the world walketh death. Now, your being sorry before the Lord will bring salvation to you right there. Sorry, sinners, saved. 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 Nothing can contradict that. Satan cannot steal that salvation. Your thoughts cannot steal that salvation. And neighbors cannot steal that salvation. You feel sorry for the sins you have committed. And you say, Lord, I am sorry. I repent. I turn. Forgive me. That forgiveness has now come. Where are you? Forgiveness. I said, where are you? salvation i said where are you condemnation will be taken away from your life i'm sure you are ready heaven is ready i'm sure you are ready god is ready to spell out this miracle in your life tonight i'm sure you are ready it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed the lord is saying now he will show mercy it will show compassion. And as you turn away from your sin, and you are sorry, deeply sorry, the Lord will bring salvation right now. And if you want that forgiveness, if you want that salvation, if you want him to write your name in the book of life, as we are sorry for the sins we have committed, 
and you confess and you forsake them wherever you are raise up your hand salvation is available for you now god bless you there that's good god bless you there that's good as you are raising up your hand please stand up and receive the pardon and receive the forgiveness you're sorry for what you've done and you're telling the lord i no more go back to them i want your salvation now your being sorry makes you to stop those things that you're not going to do them by his grace by his grace and the lord will have mercy on you he will save you now when will he save you i say when will he save you when will he forgive you now rise up with your hands raised anywhere you are in a country here in every country in africa and you're sorry for your sin and you're coming for the salvation of the lord rise up wherever you are and tell the lord i am sorry that's all it takes i've gone astray i am sorry i sinned i am sorry i followed after evil things i am sorry forgive me lord that's right he forgives immediately let me pray with you now father we thank you you loved us so much that you sent jesus christ your only begotten son to take away our sin take away our guilt take away our condemnation and give us forgiveness and salvation i pray lord your salvation will be real in every heart right now in jesus name wipe away all their sins and set them free and give them the power to go and live a new life right now let your peace come into their heart let your joy come into their heart let the assurance of salvation come to everyone now as they turn away from their sin and they return unto the lord receive everyone into your kingdom Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord, it is done. Say, my sins are forgiven. Say it aloud. My sins are forgiven. I am saved. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. We call on our state, Pastor, to lead us now in this uh, counseling period i'll be coming back and your miracle that you need the lord will grant unto everyone today those of you standing who have given your life to our lord jesus christ you are welcome to the kingdom of god in jesus name the counselors are around you they will attend to you if there is no counselor around, you just raise your hand. Remain standing until a counselor comes to you. Just wave your hand clearly. Please, counselors, we have so many hands towards my far right. Please go there right now. There are so many hands there. So let's give your name. Give your phone number. Give your address clearly so that... We can be of real help to you spiritually so that by the grace of God, you will continue in the journey to heaven. Counselors, please. If any counselor has not come near you, just wave your hand so that I can, I can see you. Please, more counselors should go to the far right right side of the pulpit. Remain standing, please. And those of us who are seated, who are on our seat now, please, let's start praying, believing that as our Father and the Lord is coming back, your miracle is coming to you. I say your miracle is coming to you. 
Many of those who are sharing testimonies, they say, after the prayer of the man of God, after the prayer of the man of God tonight, you will share your testimonies. He said it, believe it. Be praying, be expecting, be full of expectations, and by the grace of God, you are going to queue for testimonies tonight. Cancel us, please. Let's go everywhere and make sure that those who have given their lives to Christ, that we take their data, we take their information, the name, the phone number, and also a clear address. And on the radio, you are welcome. Very, very important person. So, now that you have the Lord, I say, you are welcome to the kingdom of God. And on the television as well. If you look at your screen, you will see a link. Just click on that link, supply every information required there. So you give your correct name, your correct name, your first name, and your surname, and also give the correct address. And on the social media too, YouTube, and also on the Facebook, all the social media networks, platforms. So please send, you can send SMS to this number on the WhatsApp that I'm going to give you now, plus 234-15-444-9263. Please let me call it again. Plus 234-915-4449. 444-9263. Just remember, send your name, your phone number, and the location where you are. Those of you on the radio. And by the grace of God, our Father and the Lord wants to help you to grow, to connect you. There is a special announcement, which I will call a breaking news now. There is a conference rally, very special for you. For those of you who are online, you, you will join us for this conference rally on Sunday, the 5th of June, 2022. We are going to connect you through our much content by the grace of God. In fact, the man of God will be so happy to have you at this banquet. Make sure you don't miss the opportunity of connecting with him very, very well. And something is coming your way tonight. If you believe it, can you stand up as you are expecting? Whatever that problem is, Whatever the challenge is, there is a God that will subdue everything for you. Tonight, Jesus' power for extraordinary breakthrough coming right now. It is my night of breakthrough. Let the Lord hear you. It is my night of breakthrough. In fact, the man of God is ready to come and discharge and release the miracles unto you. As it comes now, only one thing. Believe. Say, I believe. I will get my miracle. I will testify. And by the grace of God, we will rejoice with you. Let's welcome our Father in the Lord now. You are welcome, I am sir. ready. Are, Are you ready? ready? Yes. Heaven, Heaven is ready, ready for, for you. you. Yes. That miracle is coming now. Yes. Your blind eyes will open. Yes. If you are lame, 
when you hear the final amen rise up you will walk amen. whatever the condition the incurable will be cured tonight amen. you raise up one hand and you lay the other hand upon yourself we're ready now after the final amen key to it it is done amen. father we thank you we thank you for your love and the lord jesus has told us at the prodigal son returned with all the problems the father received him you receive everyone right now amen. and i pray lord mercy for miracle will come upon everyone amen. blind eyes will open by your mercy Cancer will be healed by your mercy. Yeah. The lame will rise up and walk all by your mercy. Yeah. Deaf ears will hear all by your mercy. Yeah. And dumb tongues will speak out all by your mercy. Yeah. Miracle of mercy upon everyone now in Jesus' name. Yeah. That epileptic spirit, I command you, come out right now. Yeah and enter no more into them in jesus name that incurable disease be cured right now recover right now lord i pray for everyone expecting whatever the problem whatever the disease this is the day of your manifestation for everyone confirm it in every life Amen. on my right Amen. in front of me Amen. to my left Amen. in all the various locations Amen. worldwide confirm your cure and confirm the healing and confirm the miracle in Jesus name Amen. it is done it is done Amen. receive it in your body in jesus name thank you lord for the confirmation in jesus name we pray it is done check up and you'll find your miracle is right there